Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be talking about how you can create a chatbot app inside of code.org app lab. So here I've just gone ahead and created a new app lab project and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to rename it to chatbot. Chatbot, like so. Now I'm going to go ahead and save. And there we go. So the first step of, our, of creating our app will be to design. So we're just going to go over to the design tab right over here. And after that, we're just going to drag in a little label and place it there. So this is basically going to say chatbot, chatbot. And I will go ahead and scroll down. Actually, we will uh, um, change the screen color, the screen's background color. We're going to make it like an orange color. You can basically make it whatever color you want, but I'm just going to make it this kind of orange color. Okay, nice. Now back to the label, and what I'm going to do is scroll down. And here, for the font size, I'm just going to increase it, like so. And the font family, I'm going to change to comic. Comic, like so. Okay, I'm actually going to give it a little more um, size. And then let's just move it to the middle. Here. Here. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. And now the next thing that we will do is drag in a text area. So this is where we will have our bots um, reply. So we will also have a text input where the user can type in the message. I'm going to name this text underscore area underscore reply. reply. And um, I'm just going to move it right there. Okay. And then see can actually increase the border radius like so and then I'm just going to make it read only. Read only so that you can't actually type inside of it. As you can see I can't type inside of it. Nice. Um, I will actually go ahead and type some text and as you can see that's really small so what I want to do is again increase the font size right over here. Okay pretty good. And let's just clear the text out. Okay, nice. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to have a text input for where the user is going to type their message. So let's just drag in a text input right over here. Like so. Okay, nice. And I'm just going to name this text underscore underscore message. Like so. Placeholder, let's just do type your type your message here like so and after that let's see right here font size again increase it a little bit more and then we're just going to expand it a little more nice and move it then also I'm going to change the border radius too. So border radius. Yeah, nice. Okay, text alignment is going to make that center like so. Looking good. Okay, um, the next thing that we will do is have two buttons. The first one is going to be a send button and the second one is going to be a clear button. So the send button will basically send the message that's right in the text input and it'll generate a reply right over here. And the clear button will clear both of these um, inputs. This one is a text area, this one is a text input. So let's just go ahead and drag in a button, like so. And I'm really going to go ahead and call this btn underscore send. The text will be send and then I will just scroll down, change the color to a green color. Okay. And 
Head training phase is on a little. Now we will drag in another button. I'm actually just going to duplicate this one. And then just move it. Right there. I'm actually going to have the same um, Y position. So 335. Okay, nice. So now they're both in line. Here, for this one, I'm really going to call it btn underscore clear, make the text as clear. Okay, now I'm going to scroll down, scroll down, and then just go ahead and change this to a red color. Nice! So, now we're done with our design, and let's get straight into coding our application. So, here's the code. And I'm actually just going to make this full screen, like so. I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, so we can minimize our toolbox so that we get more space. And the first thing that we will do right here is make the send button work. Okay, um, I'm just going to minimize that. So what we need to do we just do on event, on event, uh, button send, click. When we click the button, what we will do is we will have a callback function. So function, like so, here, there we go. And when we click the send button, what do we need to do, right? So what we need to do is we need to get the text from this input and according to the text inside of the input, we need to um, display something in the reply. So what I'm going to do is just have an if statement and just say if get text. And here I'm just going to do text message. So it'll get the text inside of that input. Now we'll say if it's equal to, let's just say hello. Then what we will do is just go ahead and set text of um, the button, I mean, text area reply, set text of that, and the text is going to be hello, right? Semicolon, let's see if that works. We're going to type in hello, send, and boom, we've got the message. So just like this, you can create how many other messages you want. I'm just going to create one more. If get, let's just copy paste the first one. Um, so copy, paste, like so. And here for this one, I'm just going to change this to how are you? And here I'm just going to do I am fine. Thank you. Or something like that. And let's check if that works. Let me just type in how are you? Send that. And as you can see, I'm coming from Q. So you can basically create how many other messages you want just like this. So if you need another message, you could just copy paste this, go ahead and change the message here, and then type the reply in here. So that's basically how it works. Okay, now I'm just going to um, program the clear button next. So again, on event of um, when the button clear this time, is click then we will have a function so put in a semicolon there and what we will do is we are just going to set the text of this text area and this text input to um, an empty string so set text of first let's do the reply and we will set the text to empty and then set text and um, text underscore message, and we will also set that to an empty string. Now let's hit one and go ahead and say hello. Actually, I spelled it wrong. 
hello, like so, and it will say hello, and if I hit clear, both of the messages are gone. So that's pretty much it. This was a very simple chatbot. And you can easily expand this with a lot, a lot of more messages by just having like these if statements. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.